I am alive and it is great to be alive. This is exciting. I'm back doing another Zaw weapon build video. I haven't done one of these in forever. In fact, I think I only ever did one. Wanted to do a series on it and it just kind of fell apart. But today we are back with an interesting Zaw weapon type that I wanted to create. And uh, let me go ahead and show you what I have on this, by the way. So my goal with this was to create a Zaw build Nakana that swings extremely slowly but hits really hard. I don't know why, I just thought it would be fun to see what happens. So this may not necessarily be the most effective or the coolest thing in the game, but I just enjoy playing around with things in Warframe. So this was made using the Vargit to Ruhang. Uh, for the link, the Corb Grip, and the Sep Fan Strike, whatever that means. <laughs> but that is what I used to make this weapon. I did have to polarize it at least once, I think, for this build. And then for my build, I have Prime Pressure Point, Buzz Kill, Jagged Edge, Spoiled Strike. Again, not normally a mod I use, but going for that high damage, slow attack speed. True Steel, Berserker, Drifting Contact, and Blood Rush. I was... Half and half about putting Berserker, I really wanted to just make this as slow and as powerful as possible, but it would be nice to have something that improves my damage per second value as opposed to just per swing, uh, so I really wanted to up how much damage I can deal in a set amount of time against a target to really get my crit multipliers going. So that is kind of nice. Oh shoot, that gets me, I forgot to tell you the stats, 838 slash damage, which is pretty damn good, 104 puncture. A uh, critical chance of 54.4%, but that is before my uh, blood rush starts stacking. And um, a status chance of 16%, which is okay. It's not terrible. But I already did a tiny bit of testing with this, and it's actually pretty good. Whoops, those are throwing stars. I'm actually doing this in the... Uh in Captura today, not the Simulacrum, because it's fun to play around with the visual effects, and I get really bored of trying things out in the Simulacrum. So you'll notice that the enemies are level 100. I might bump them up if I have to, but we're just gonna spawn a regular Elite Lancer at level 100 and see what happens. Hey, buddy. All right, and go. All right, so the damage numbers don't show up, but I don't think, oh, I don't think it'll matter. It's not like we're gonna need them. Look how quick he died. Level 100. Boom. Oh, and there goes his arm all the way over here. Whoosh. Can we get to it? Ow. Oh, the depth of field is so deceptive here. It's like so far away. That went flying. Oh, and now it's gone, and so is he. Just a invisible ghost bloodstain of the man he used to be. And his bullet casings. All right. So I guess we should try upping the ante here. What um, level do you guys think we should spawn him at? Let's try... All right, let's just go all out. Let's just do level 140 just to see what happens, and then I'll start spawning some different types of enemies. That'll be much more difficult to kill. Let's do that. Simulate. Simulati. All right. Level 140 Elite Lancer this time. Come on, baby. So as you can see, the Berserker is kicking in a little bit there. Wow, still took him out like he was nothing. Okay. So that's pretty cool, and that's with my stacks, my combo multiplier, decaying in between each enemy. Imagine if, here, let's, let's really, let's really push this here. What do you say? Bombards have, like, an insane amount of armor. Let's spawn a level 140 Bombard. I don't think that's anything to, not, not necessarily the biggest pushover, especially for a weapon that I haven't tried to build to be absolute end-all. It's just a fun build at that. Oh, man. I might take this to the simulacrum later though to see how much damage I am doing. This is taking a while. Alright, so not what you want to use against the bombard. But there we go, now he's down. Okay. So I wonder if it was just bombards though because of their insane armor. Let's let us spawn some other enemies, shall we? Let's try some ancient healers. We'll do three of them too. Do three ancient healers. Just to see what happens. Okay. Alright. Okay, level 140 Ancient Healers instantly die, basically. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's try... You guys want to do some Corpus? We'll try some Corpus here. We'll do... We'll do three Corpus Tech. Just... Just because. Sometimes men spawn Corpus Tech. Just for fun. Oh, I wonder how, if their shields will help them much here. Let's find out. Nope, not really. <laughs> you better run, dude. Oh my gosh. I just did a total spin kick and killed him and the Osprey. That was awesome. 
All right, so yeah, this is still a pretty damn cool weapon. Uh, this is way more effective than I thought it would be. This is what I love about the Zaw weapons, is that they always end up being actually pretty good if you build them with a specific task in mind. I don't really know what else I could test this on. We'll go back to Grenier. We'll do, um, we'll just do a bunch of butchers. Why not? Here you go, guys. Let's see if you can beat up on me. Come on. Show me what you got. It's probably going to instant. Yep, pretty much just gibbs these guys. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, uh, I really, really like this Zaw weapon. Uh, it is pretty painful to level up. Um, luckily, I have a affinity booster right now. Because, uh, yeah, that slow attack speed until you get the, uh, the Berserker mod on there to be able to attack faster. It is a bit painful, but as you can see, it is more than effective. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys want me to show off more Zaw weapons, or you want to uh, comment down below with a specific task you want this Zaw to achieve, I will build one for that task, and I will show it off to you guys. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. You don't have to come here and watch my videos, so for those of you who do, you're awesome, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.